This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I insert edge loops at the same size and distance when using the ZModeler brush? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a simple cylindrical shape here loaded in. So the question is asking about adding edge loops. So if I have a model like this, let's say I want to add some edge loops that span like this across the model, and then maybe add some edge loops that span like this. So just increasing the topology in those areas. So to do this, first I'm just going to select the Z modeler brush. So I'm going to go to the brush palette over here, or press B on my keyboard, and then I'm going to isolate by the letter Z, and then I'm going to locate the Z modeler brush, or simply press M. Now after you have the Z modeler brush selected, and you hover over your model, you're going to notice that the brush is context sensitive. So if you hover over a poly, you're going to get a Q mesh action. If you hover over an edge, you're going to get an insert edge loop action. And if you hover over a point, you're going to get a move points action. So to add an edge loop, we can simply hover over an edge here and click and drag, and this will allow us to add an edge loop to that area of our model. Now you'll notice as you're adding this, you're going to be able to control the position by where your cursor is on the model. So you can kind of come through and eyeball this if you wanted to kind of match it on both sides, but it's not going to give you the exact distance you're looking for. So how can we go by adding edge loops across the span and have all these edge loops generated at the same distance or even just generate an edge loop that's directly in the middle of these two outer edges? So I'm just going to hit Control Z to undo this and get back to my original version. And then now I'm going to hover over an edge again. I'm going to press Spacebar to open up the Z Modeler Edge Action menu. In here, I'm going to make sure I have that Insert action selected. And then I'm going to change my target to Multiple Edge Loops. Now when you change your target to multiple edge loops, you're gonna get a bunch of modifiers down here. And in here you have options to set your specific resolution, you can have interactive elevation, and you can even change how the polygroups are going to be generated when you add these multiple edge loops. So if I come across my mesh again, and now with that insert multiple edge loops action selected, and I simply click and drag, you're gonna see that it's going to add multiple edge loops between those two outer edges. And as it's adding these, it's spacing them at the same distance. So as I add these edge loops here, they're all being added relative to each other. So if you scroll all the way to the left while you're doing this, you're going to be able to get just one edge loop generated. And this edge loop will be generated directly in the center of these two edges. So if you want to just add one loop that's in the middle of two edges, just simply click on the edge while using that insert multi-edge loops action, and then drag to the left. And that's going to just add one edge instead of multiple edges, and that will be directly in the center. Now, if you want to add multiple edges, let me just undo this quick here. You just do the same process. So using that action of insert multiple edge loops, simply click and drag to the right, and this will allow you to add multiple edge loops, and all these edge loops are going to be spaced out at the same distance. Now, you'll notice the polygrouping here is coming out like so. And this is because the modifier in that insert edge loop action was set to alternate polygroups. So I hover over an edge again and press spacebar. Down at the bottom here, you can see it's set to alternate polygroup by default. If you change this to same polygroup, and then come back to my model and just undo this quick. And now if I draw out those multiple edge loops by clicking and dragging to the right, you'll see now it's going to generate those multiple edge loops, but it's not going to generate that alternate polygrouping function. So using multiple edge loops, you can come through and now start adding edge loops to your model and get them so they're evenly spaced across the surface. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.